Let's get this done real quick. Oh, be careful. My name is Megan, and I am from Staten Island, New York, and I would give anything to have my own grant for a day. I have three children. My husband works with the Department of Sanitation, ton of hours, he's not home. So I am with the kids all the time. Okay, one second. Trying to get dinner in. I never seem to have enough hands, arms, legs to get exactly what I need, where I need it, when I'm trying to cook a meal. If I could just have someone poof, you know, appear with exactly what I need, that would be probably the saving grace to my day. If you can't find the tongs in your kitchen, Grant is on his way over. Oh Hi, God, Megan. Grant, what are you doing? Hi. I heard you needed help, so I am here to make dinner tonight. Are you ready to get cooking? Oh my God, yes, come in. Let's come do in. it. Today I'm going to show Megan how to make an easier than pie chicken pot pie. We're going to start by chopping all of our vegetables. Technically what this is called is mise en place. Basically what it means is that you get everything in its place and ready to go before you throw it in the pot. Even your cutting board looks more organized than mine does. <laughs> all right, so our water is up to a boil, so we're ready to start poaching our chicken. I have never poached chicken before, ever. <laughs> this is a really great way to cook a bunch of chicken at one time. All right, so let's get some other hands in here. So who wants to be... All right, it's your job already. You don't even know what it is. Put those crackers in there and just crush them up. All right, dude, those look perfect. You get a carrot for a reward. Nice, right? It's like the worst prize ever. So while you stir those around, I'm just going to throw in our thyme. Then we're also going to use this wonderful grating tool right here to grate in some garlic. So we're just gonna add our cheese into that. That's gonna be our cheesy, crunchy, garlicky crust for on top of our chicken. Let's bring over our vegetables. We have our carrot, our celery, and onion. Let's shred up some of this chicken, add this into our pie filling, pour this right into our casserole dish. Everything's ready to go into the oven. It's gonna be ready in 20 minutes. And look at this big old pot pie. Check that out. So we have a nice creamy sauce with all those vegetables that help you poach chicken. This chicken pot pie, you can make this once a week times two and freeze one of them and have one for the next week. I still can't believe I got to meet Grant today. I will forever take with me the lessons that he taught me. Thank you. I feel like this might be my go-to dish after today. Mm. So good. I crushed the crackers. That's my favorite bar. <laughs> <laughs>